Hi, I'm Tony Kramer, Product Specialist with RDO Equipment Company. Welcome to the Agriculture Technology Podcast on RDO Equipment Company's YouTube channel. Every day there are phenomenal advancements being made in the field of agriculture technology. RDO Equipment Company is a leader in agriculture equipment and precision agriculture technology and is here with industry experts bringing the latest news and information from RDO and John Deere. Thanks for joining us on the Agriculture Technology Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of the podcast. This is episode number 127, and today we are going to be talking about Command Pro. Before we dive into the show, please take a moment to subscribe to this podcast if you haven't already. You can subscribe to the show on the many different podcasting apps that we're streaming this out to, such as Apple's podcast app. We have it on Stitcher, Overcast, SoundCloud, as well as many others. While you're out there, drop us a review. We'd love to hear what you think about the show. Lastly, make sure to follow RDO Equipment Company on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and catch all of our latest videos on YouTube. You can also follow me on Twitter, at RDO Tony K. Now with that, let's get back to the show. I'm very excited to welcome Nathan Wright to the show. He is a product specialist with RDO Equipment Company. Thanks for joining us on the show today, Nathan. To get started, let's hear a little bit more about you and your background and how you got involved in this industry. Hi, Tony. I'm glad to be on the show today. My name is uh, Nathan Wright. I am a product specialist um, at RDO Equipment Company. Um, a little bit about my background. I am uh, grew up on a small town farm in South Dakota. We do corn, soybeans, alfalfa. We raise cow-calf pears. I graduated from South Dakota State University. I went to school for agriculture systems technology and after that i got hired as a product specialist here at rdo equipment company great so let's uh let's talk a little bit about command pro so um not not very long back you uh you had done an internal training for us here and within the organization about command pro and kind of what it is and you know to get started nathan let's just talk what is command pro so command pro is a joystick option in the new IVT tractors. So what that means is that Command Pro is not a new transmission. It is a new way to control the current transmission that we already have. With that, it has a unique shift gate pattern. So it looks like an H. So there's forward and backwards on the right hand side and forward and backwards on the left hand side. There's a safety activation button on the bottom of the joystick. So we press and hold that in, push the joystick forward to go forward, push the button in, hold the joystick backwards to go backwards. So what is unique about this is on the, when we shift to the left hand side, if we move the joystick all the way to the left and push it forward, we have what is called our inching control feature. So we can inch forward and or reverse at slow speeds to hook up to implements or to drive forward at like a slow speed, maybe in like a front-mounted snowblower application. So you talked about, and one of the things I, I think is a real uh, a real hitting point to bring home is this is not a new transmission. A lot of people think that, that uh, they hear Command Pro, the John Deere Command Pro, they think it's a new transmission, but it's not, correct? Correct. It is not a new transmission. It is a new way to control the current transmission that we already have. So you have your standard IVT controls or you can get that same IVT transmission, but with Command Pro controls. Yes. So this is an option that you can add, not a new transmission. That's actually a question I was going to ask. This is an option, so it does not come standard in, in any of the machines it's, it's compatible with, but it is an option to add to IVTs. Yep. So when you are looking at this tractor, it is a cab option. So it'd be the joystick with the Command Pro. Okay, and what kind of tractors is it compatible with? So along the, the portfolio of John Deere tractors, which of those tractors can we put Command Pro in? Uh, for the coming year, it will be available in 6Rs, 7Rs, 8Rs, 8RXs, and 8RTs. 
Okay, so kind of your your main uh, meat and potato tractors that are going to be utilized a lot out there is is what's going to be compatible with the Command Pro. So one of the questions that I have is, so a lot of guys uh, here in Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, they love that IVT transmission. You kind of got that that creeper functionality and you got that infinitely variable uh, adjustment. You also get that with the Command Pro, just a different way to control it. You know, what are some of the useful applications that a Command Pro control might come in handy? So for with Command Pro, um, it is your standard IVT. So what is cool about the new joystick is it has 11 configurable controls on it. So it has on the Command Pro joystick, you'll see A, B, C, D, E, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six. You can configure them to do any action you want. So you'll have any action the tractor can do at your fingertips all the time. And that is the whole point. It's to make an ergonomic joystick that you don't have to move your hands around to do something up and down or any control that you're looking for. And that's kind of the nice thing about this joystick. With these 11 configurable controls, we can save each configuration. So if you have the joystick set up to run your planner, baler, hay cutter, loader, Every time you get in the tractor, you can select that profile. So we don't have to be changing every single time you switch. And you can also switch per operator. If you, your son, your dad, you each can have your own profile on how that tractor runs and operates. That's actually a really handy feature. So when you have other people jumping into the cab of the tractor, each operator can set it up, kind of configure it how they want to run the the planter or the baler or the beat lifter or whatever it may be. Uh, that's a really neat uh, function for this. And you also mentioned that that those it can all be saved based on application as well, correct? Yes. So that is the nice part is we can save it. So if somebody hops in the tractor and changes something and you can't remember what you had set, you can go into your save configuration and switch it back to the way that you ran that piece of equipment. And when you say 11 different controls or 11 uh, uh, customizable functions, you're talking everything from SCVs to front hitch, rear hitch to, I mean, pretty much anything the tractor can do, correct? Yep. Any any control on the tractor that's like a button or a switch can be put on the Command Pro joystick. Okay. I really like the idea of this Command Pro, and it's it's almost, it reminds me of a, a old school video game joystick to where everything is at your hands, at your controls, at your fingertips. So you think about all of the functions that we're doing, whether it be uh, a planter or a, a moco or a baler or um, here in the Red River Valley and, and uh, southern Minnesota where I grew up, beat lifters. Um, I think this is going to be a, a really neat way. Uh, way to control a tractor as far as beat lifters go. Uh, there's just so many good, useful functions for the Command Pro Control. The Command Pro Control hasn't been out for very long. It's brand new. It's coming out on the new model year 20 tractors and, and moving forward. So we haven't had it out there very long, but is there any sort of a success story that you could share with the, the listeners, Nathan, that uh, kind of was an eye opener to either us within the company or maybe a customer that, that might be interested in it? Yeah. So we did uh, get a couple ordered in and uh, we did get one sold to a customer. So uh, obviously the first thing is learning how to drive it. Us as dealers, we got to experience with it, learn how to drive it. And then we got to teach a customer how to run it. And they were very, very happy with it. Their main feature is uh, putting a front mounted snowblower. So they can have with that inching forward control, you can go all the way down to 0 0.20 miles per hour. So they can just drive nice and slow into the snow to blow snow. That was their big selling factor, and that's what they really liked about the tractor. Yeah, and you actually bring up a really good point there. So it, it is going to be a little bit of a learning curve. Uh, there, It's not your, not your standard type of or standard way to control a tractor. It's a very unique way to control a tractor, but uh, I'm really excited about it. Like I said, uh, a planter or a, a beat lifter, I'm, I'm just super excited to get in a, in a beat lifter this fall here with a tractor that has Command Pro. Um, I know in hanging conditions, if you're pulling a MoCo, triple mount MoCos, balers, things 
things like that, or snow blowers uh, up here in Minnesota and the Dakotas. Uh, we get snow, so uh, being able to put a front-mounted snow blower on and control the the shoot and everything else uh, right from your fingertips, right on the joystick, I think is going to be a a very beneficial feature and a great way to control that tractor. Now, if somebody's interested in learning more about Command Pro, where can they go? Who can they talk to to get some information? So uh, the best source of information would be to uh, get a hold of your local RDO dealer and uh, talk to a product specialist about it. Um, other ways you could find out is uh, your local John Deere dealer or if there is a lot of uh, YouTube videos on the John Deere YouTube site that will go over the features of the Command Pro transmission. Great. I just want to thank you, Nathan, for taking the time to sit down with me for a few minutes here and chat about uh, the Command Pro joystick and uh, just kind of talking about some unique ways or some unique features about it. And maybe we'll uh, get some more out there as time goes on. So thanks again for doing this, Nathan. Yep. Thank you. Thanks again for listening. Subscribe to this YouTube channel for upcoming podcasts or visit rdoequipment.com backslash podcast to listen to new episodes and catch up on any that you've missed. You can also listen and subscribe to our podcast on any device or streaming service so that you will never miss out on the latest news and technology from RDO Equipment and John Deere.